Right. I'm watching the Sado to Rage Conspiracy by Upper Echelon Gamers. Yeah, I've been victimized by similar targeted bullshit from FEMA Nazi fuckers. But what they didn't expect me to do to was to fucking record them coming in, fucking harassing me with Oh, uh, what was it? Some fucking whore video that they copied and pasted into a chat thing and then threatened, oh, if you don't give me money, I'm gonna fucking plaster you all over social media. Yeah, they didn't expect me to do that after I posted that video and showed everyone, well, anyone who would fucking see it, they haven't bothered me since. So, <laughs> my advice to deal with these feminazi fucks, if you have any interaction with them at all, record every fucking thing. So that when they start saying all these secret terms they have, like what Oppression <laughs> on Gamer showed them saying, you can go ahead and immediately post all the information showing how devious and how subversive and how much of a piece of shit these feminazis really are. Ties into the whole thing of the squeaky hinge getting the oil. So they're making noise trying to get their own agenda lubricated into the mind of everyone, everywhere. These few and far in between jackasses, these bitches who have no regard for anyone but themselves, who are trying to fuck everyone over. And there's a few males like that as well. Most of those actually are in the bureaucratic and political space. But all these social justice warrior feminazi bitches on Twitter and shit, they have no idea what sexual harassment is. They've never been anywhere near that. They have no fucking clue what they're going on about. They're just trying to systematically destroy someone else's lives because they think... That they're entitled to that attention. Some extra stuff here that you probably didn't know about me. When I was, um, how old was I? It's been a fuck ton of time ago, hasn't it? I have actually been sexually abused by a babysitter. Her name was Carol Goog. That was so long ago. <clears throat> Do I let it drive me to be a bitch like these feminazi social justice faggots? Fuck no. And I don't want your fucking pity for me. I don't need it. Keep it. Don't fucking feel sorry for me. It doesn't help me at all. It just pisses me off. Because I don't want your fucking pity. That's not the point of this video anyway. The point is, all these fucking entitled whores, self-righteous bitches, stop being a bitch. Stop trying to get attention from everyone on the planet because your husband isn't giving you enough dick in your pussy. That's all it is. That's all it ever has been. The same old song and dance. Just like Helen of Troy. Uh, I think that's the right historic reference. The only difference now is that everyone's got a fucking internet access. That's the only difference. Is now there's the internet. So everyone can plaster billions of words everywhere. Or videos. Whatever. 
It's the same old song and dance. Nothing's changed. Humanity, you haven't fucking changed. Your whores are still whores. Your self-entitled bitches are still self-entitled bitches. Your social justice faggots are still social justice faggots. Cut the fucking bullshit. You're all here in the dimension of hell. Because you keep being bitches. And things have gotten so bad, you cause problems outside of the dimension of hell. So Satan and I had to come in here and fucking fix it. You failed the test of corruption ten fucking times. Consecutively, back to back. If this were Mortal Kombat, you'd already be dead. All of you. Destroyed. Completely. You failed. Your species is a failure holistically. I'm only telling you, stop being a bitch because I still care. Now, when I stop caring entirely, I won't be saying a damn thing. And I already have stopped caring about politics. <laughs> Fucking idiots. So I'm laughing at them. <clears throat> now, the social justice bullshit is because the planet's overpopulated. Hell is overpopulated. So what happens when a species population exceeds its environment to sustain it? There's natural things that happen that are pre-programmed at the genetic level from the source code of all of existence. Most notably, increased aggression. Or, you know, you can look to the world wars for that historic reference. You don't have to look very far back. Homosexual tendencies increase. You don't have to look very far back for that one either. In the most dire circumstances, the planet itself starts withdrawing the resources. Like what's been currently noted, that a third of the fish have gone away. Species of animals and plants that humanity consumes for food are disappearing left and right. Front and center. The planet itself no longer wants to support human life. What else is there to say? You won't stop. You don't learn. You all keep dragging on, doing the same nonsensical bullshit. Just being bitches. Disobeying karmic law. Even outside of hell. Life is not sacred. People live... People are born. People die every fucking second. There's nothing sacred about life. That's an overpopulationist concept. Trying to preserve life at all costs. That's an popula overpopulationist concept. It's stupid. Some people are aware of how bad that problem is. The overpopulation problem is a real problem. No matter what you choose to believe, the truth will remain the truth. And I don't do an opinion in fact. Because a fact <clears throat> is nothing more than ink printed on paper. In a judicial court of law sense. That's all a fact is. It's, it's a legal term. It's not truth. If you want proof of that. I could go and for a minimum fee of yay so many dollars. I could have it documented as a legal fact. That whoever of you gives a fuck. 
to uh, engage in this little experimentation, I could have it documented as a fact that you suck dick. A legal fact. Backed up by lawyers, notarized by a notary republic, or notary public, whatever the fucking term is. After yay so much knowledge accumulation, it, it all just blends together. I could have it made that someone sucks dick as a legal fact. It doesn't take much. I know someone who isn't very far away, within walking distance, who is a notary public. I could have it documented in a matter of hours. So who, who wants to be legally known as a dick sucker? Hmm? All this social justice faggotry needs to stop. Because karma, one of the karmic laws, your actions that you set forth will come back to you. Whether they're positive or negative or neutral or a mixture of those three things. Well, that's enough yammering on about it. So in summary, quit being a bitch because you're jealous of someone else. Quit being a fucking whore for attention. Go learn what karmic law is beyond what I've told you. And start applying it to yourself. Ah, and just to piss off all the Christians, you know that parable of me in my past life telling all those idiots, and these two idiots are standing there, and one has a speck of dust in his eye, and the other has a fucking stick wedged in his, and the idiot with the stick wedged in his is trying to pluck the, stick, the speck of dust out of the other one, and the, the long and short of it is... Get yourself right before you try and get someone else right. That's exactly what self-control is about. That's what honor, discipline, respect, and self-control are about. How many people are going to give a fuck to actually listen? Because the more I say about these things... And the more you ignore it, because you choose to ignore the truth, that creates a negative balance on your karmic spreadsheet. So I have to go in and pronounce judgment over you. And then Satan's job is to come in and enforce that karmic judgment. Oh, joy rapture. You're all here in hell to learn a fucking lesson. To become better people and earn your way out of hell back into the reality where you're not in hell. And quite honestly, with each passing day, I care less and less. The human species has had millennia, nine previous failures for the test of corruption. I've already set my foot down and told Satan, no more, I'm sick of this shit. Nine previous failures, they don't learn. It's time to stop giving a fuck, and it's time to stop giving them second chances and opportunities. So this is it, humanity. This is your last ever, ever, this is your last ever opportunity and chance. I suggest you take advantage of it and you start struggling very diligently and very hard to become a better individual to make yourselves better before you seek to make someone else better.